You think they they could uh, help convert us to uh, you know type one, type two, type three? Let's just stick to type two uh, civilization on the Kardashev scale. Like help us, help us humans expand out into the cosmos. So all of it goes back to are we somehow controlling it? Are we getting results we want? If yes, then everything's possible. Yes, they can definitely help us with science, engineering, exploration uh, in every way conceivable, but it's a big if. This whole thing about control though, humans are bad with control. Because the moment they gain control, they, bec they can also easily become too controlling. It's the whole, the more control you have, the more you want it. It's the, the old power corrupts and the absolute power corrupts absolutely. And it feels like control over AGI, saying we live in a universe where that's possible. We come up with ways to actually do that. It's also scary because the collection of humans that have the control over AGI, they become more powerful than the other humans and uh, they can let that power get to their head. And then a small selection of them, back to Stalin, uh, start getting ideas, and then eventually it's one person, usually with a mustache or a funny hat, that starts sort of making big speeches, and then all of a sudden you live in a world that's uh, either 1984, a brave new world, and uh, always at war with somebody, and you know this whole idea of control turned out to be uh, actually also not beneficial to humanity. So that's scary too. It's actually worse, because historically they all died this could be different. This could be permanent dictatorship, permanent suffering. Well, the nice thing about humans, it seems like, it seems like the moment power starts corrupting their mind, they can create a huge amount of suffering. So there's negative, they can kill people, make people suffer, but then they become worse and worse at their job. <laughs> the more, it feels like the more evil you start doing, like the, at least they are incompetent. Yeah, they, well, no, they become more and more incompetent, so they start start losing their grip on power. So, like holding on to power is not a trivial thing. So it requires extreme competence, which I, I suppose Stalin was good at. It requires you to do evil and be competent at it, or just get lucky. And those systems help with that. You have perfect surveillance. You can do some mind reading, I presume. Eventually, it would be very hard to. Uh, remove control from more capable systems over us. And then it would be hard for humans to become the hackers that escape the control of the AGI because the AGI is so damn good. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, the dictator is immortal. Yeah, that's not great. That's not a great outcome. See, I'm more afraid of humans than AI systems. I'm afraid, I believe that most humans want to do good and have the capacity to do good but also all humans have the capacity to do evil. And um, when you test them by giving them absolute powers, you would if you give them AGI, that could result in a lot, a lot of suffering.